Hi guys, welcome to Bominate. My name is Brooke. So this week I did a cleanse. Not the kind that gives you diarrhea and a pounding headache, a technology cleanse. I just felt like I had really like lost control of my technology use. You know, picking up my phone had just become such a compulsion. It was just making me really discontent. You know, I felt so distracted and just like really present, you know, for my kids and for my husband, which uh, just isn't acceptable. Even though I really resented my unhealthy relationship with social media and TV, I was still really nervous about abstaining. Like I just, I kind of like feared being present with my thoughts. Like I thought, I thought I'd be anxious, you know, just having that time to contemplate the reality of my life. And I feared like in how difficult it would be that it would just really shed some light on how real my addiction was. I was scared that it was just gonna uncover a lot of stress and realize that I was kind of like actively running away from issues that needed to be addressed. In implementing this detox, I just set clear boundaries of appropriate technology use. The vast majority of my work is done online so I just limited my email to business hours and then just like a brief check-in once the kids went to bed. But I abstained from Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and television. I woke up the first morning of this detox and I automatically was reaching for my phone, you know, to check Instagram. Then I remembered what I was doing and I put my phone down rather than, you know, checking social media first thing. I just set my intentions for the day. Throughout the first two days, I was constantly reaching for my phone. Just a mindless and compulsive action. By the third day, I wasn't repetitively searching for a distraction through technology, but those first two days, they were uncomfortable and they're upsetting. I was in disbelief at how frequently I use social media. It's also really bizarre to have to get used to quiet. Prior to this detox, every spare moment was filled with technology. Now I had, I had to sit with my thoughts. I was restless for the first two days, always looking for that distraction. By day three, I came to really enjoy the break. And by day four, I came to rely on the quiet to just collect myself, you know, renew my energy and regroup. I found that I was so much more present in every area of my life. When I was with my family, I was focused on my conversations, the little idiosyncrasies of, of my children's behaviors, and I genuinely just cherished them more. When it was time to work, I was entirely dedicated to the task. You know, my intention was clear and I was far more productive. I also realized just how renewing it is to have time to think. I'd been missing so much by not allowing myself time to reflect. In that few days, I spent more time actually talking with my husband than I had in a long time. Now, I regularly talk with Gabe. We're together the vast majority of the time. But this week I talked to him like about life, you know, not just like the day-to-day -day logistical conversations, but we had thought provoking discussions. And it just so happened that this week we actually explored the option of moving to the East Coast. There's been a lot of discussion involved, you know, just revolving around the move. I genuinely don't know if we would have brought it up if it weren't for this detox. Like I seriously just don't know if we would have gotten this far delved into our future if we didn't have the time afforded to us to, you know, really speak at night without distraction. After taking a week's break, I realized that my quality of life is significantly enhanced if I cut a bunch of social media shit out. I no longer participate in the trash TV Facebook groups. I've limited my Instagram use to just once a day. This way I'm a, I can check in on my favorite accounts, but I don't like waste time, you know, comparing myself to others or just like getting unnecessarily distracted. Now, I haven't forsaken TV. That'd be like so over dramatic of a move to make, but I have enjoyed just cutting my TV to um, just like occasional viewing. And I'm really just thoroughly enjoying rewatching Breaking Bad right now that we're rewatching that. But now I just like keep my options open. 
rather than just like the compulsive viewing each and every night. Also, I've taken up projects at night and sometimes, sometimes I just want to read. I read Mindy Kaling's book over this last week, uh, Why Not Me? I was super surprised to realize that Kelly Kapoor from The Office was actually a huge writer for the show in real life. I love Mindy. I love to read a lot about her because I want to learn to love my body as much as she does. But I'm kind of finding the more that I read about her, the more I learn about her, I'm thinking she's like embracing her body um, because like fans want her to and not because she actually does. So my expectations are too high sometimes. They're too high. <laughs> so, you know, technology is a tremendous gift when used appropriately. It affords me the opportunity to work from home. I am able to connect with clients from around the world. Instagram has played a significant role in establishing our furniture company as a legitimate brand. Facebook single-handedly addresses all the marketing we need for our restaurants. In Bominate, this channel you're watching right now would obviously not exist if it weren't for the wonder of YouTube. I'm so grateful to live in a time that I get to take advantage of such luxuries. I just need to prioritize, compartmentalize like my usage. Taking this week off from social media and TV made me realize that I need to abstain for a week at least every few months. It really was like a cleanse for my mind, except it was successful, unlike the juice cleanse I attempted in 2012, which lasted for approximately eight hours. And the only thing I learned about that cleanse was that beets turn your poop a beautiful shade of magenta. Also that cayenne pepper and lemon juice is the devil incarnate. Guys, I highly recommend you take a week-long hiatus from technology just to cleanse your mind, reevaluate how you're spending your time. It's truly been transformative for me. And I know bad habits die hard. So I'll definitely be doing a detox every few months. Thank you so much for your support. Show me some love and subscribe. Like this video. I appreciate you all so much. Have a wonderful week. 